Today we're out here in Atoka, in what you might call Atoka's premier neighborhood, Lockmead, and we're looking at a couple houses for y'all, brand new from one of our favorite builders, D&D Home. And this one here behind me that you're gonna see first, you ain't gonna see it anywhere else because they are just finishing it up. Still a little dusty inside. They haven't finished cleaning it, but you're gonna see it here first. We're gonna take you all the way through and show you what you get here. And we got another one right around the corner that's sitting there, move in ready. And the prices when we talk about those at the end, I think you're gonna be surprised at what all you see. And on that one that's sitting there moving ready, it's got an even better deal for you with a really good incentive. Does that sound good, Chris? Sounds like a plan to me, Jared. Well, like you said, guys, we're here in Lock Me Subdivision. We've got a nice cove lot for you here, peaceful. Spin around, Jared. The kids can get out there and ride the bike, have a good time in the cove. I will say this, Lock Me is full of young kids. I even bring my kids here on Halloween night because you get the best trick. You get the best trick or treat candy. Get that best, do you get the full size candy, Chris? You get some full size candy bars. You get the little bags. There'll be hay rides all through the neighborhood. So anyways, I thought I'd throw that in here. We, I do sneak over here for Halloween night every now and then. <laughs> secret's out now, Chris. Yeah, the secret's out. Now. But all look right. here, before we go inside, I just want to say this too. You see, these are big lots. When you come in the neighborhood, you got this nice entrance coming in. You got the lake, you got walking trails. I mean, there's a reason I called it the premier neighborhood i think we can say that yeah you can say that and a lot of it's got to do with just the quality of the homes in here these are executive type homes um that walking chair walking trail and lake that is a stocked lake with a fountain to keep it fresh only people within lock me have access to it it's not open to the public you got to be part of the hoa to get in there and it's got a just a really nice walking trail it goes all the way around that lake we'll show you that later guys yeah we'll get over there Let's get in here and check out this. Uh, How about the curb appeal here? Man, I like the front of this house. The other house that we're going to look at, I'd say I like that floor plan better than yeah. what you're going to see in here, just because yeah. it's a little bigger in some places. Right. But this one, I mean, this is like stately looking. I feel like it is very like... stately. But come on in here and let's get a look at these new constructions here with D&D. We got a two car garage here, plenty of room you to do. turn around here on the side. So some people are a little confused installed. with this. I'll say this real quick. So. The sewer system here in Atoka is on a hybrid system. You've got a holding tank here that goes off into the sewer. It is public sewer. If there's never a problem with that, then Atoka, um, whatever, the Atoka de department will come out here and maintain that for you if there's ever an issue with it. Got a nice brick entrance here. I love these double door entrances. That's, oh, yeah. that's, I've got to have that on a new build. Oh yeah, I think so too. Just because, I mean, I mean, for one, the convenience when you move in, bringing all that furniture through. You ain't got to sit here and like squeeze around. So you've got a nice foyer here coming in. I love the iron banisters with the wood treads going upstairs. I see what's coming up. You got a little bit of a wow factor coming in here. Just a little bit or a lot of it really. Crown molding all the way around the top up there. I'm pretty sure this is designed for an office space here. So come on right in. I mean, this is a nice size office. It's bigger than some bedrooms and some of the new builds I've seen before. Yeah, this is huge. So a lot of these houses you'll see, there's a pretty good bit of room all over the place. This one in particular has it kind of right here at the front. The next one surprised me at where it had it, but y'all yeah. just stick around, you'll have to see that. But nice open floor plan, guys. You got nine foot ceilings in this room here. Um, smooth ceilings, can lights all the way around. You see, you'll see, see Chris standing over here. He likes to claim that he's six seven. I'm six foot seven. Yeah, I that's, can almost touch that. That's um, his uh, basketball history. There's a video <laughs> we showcased that a little bit one time if you go back on the channel. But he, he's really more like six two, y'all. Yeah, on, six, a, on, a, on okay, a good day. Six two, yes. <laughs> um, beautiful countertops there with the matching on either side. You've got the five burner gas top with the griddle in the middle. And that's a rhyme, griddle in the middle. Griddle in the middle. Um, Chris might start his uh, music career soon. Nice guy. <laughs> Opening doors there. You got a nice little nook there for the coffee maker. Pendulum lights hanging there. No, it's not a double over here. We got a It's not a microwave. double here. You've got a microwave up top. You've got a um, oven at the bottom. Pretty sure that's Wi-Fi compatible there. So there's a few things I really like about D&D &D homes that you don't see anywhere else. Yeah. Okay, first off, I like that you get these Samsung appliances because everyone, I mean, not to say the other ones you see other places are bad. You see Whirlpool, GE, uh, some of those, but I don't see the Samsung stuff anywhere. And this cooktop is one of these that's Wi-Fi enabled too. So you can, uh, I guess, check and see if a burner's on, see if you left it on. I don't know about the gas Wi-Fi compatibility. That's weird to me. Yeah, you know, it's a little different, but it is. 
connect to Wi-Fi. That's wild. I guess you want to make sure that you turned it off, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, <I'll... laughs> that's the theory. I'm waiting to see if somebody will comment that has that set up and let us know how it works. You got a tile backsplash with the vent hood here. It's code here to Toka on the new builds that the vent hood vents out of the building. It does not recirculate. So if you're cooking, you're frying up that chicken like you do here in the <laughs> south, it'll vent right on out of the house and get that smell out of out of the kitchen. It is nice because I do like to just recirculate <laughs> it there. So before we go over there, let's check out this nice pantry. It's got built-in wood shelves here. So that's a nice double pantry there. Plenty of shelving built in for you. You've got a half guest bath here. Yeah. They got some blue tape in there. They're gonna do that final touch-ups on this one soon. And then here's our laundry space. Like I said, y'all see some little With things, cabinets. dust, you know, it's, we're not 100% ready. We're 95% ready on this one, guys. We, we got in a little bit early. Just all, of get this. all of D&D homes will be pre-wired with alarm system. There's an extra bonus on the other one we're gonna see. We'll point that out to you. But it is pre-wired for alarm, so you just gotta get them monitored by the uh, provider of your choice. Let's check out this garage here. So here's Two car door. garage for sure. It's a side load, which to me is gives you that much better appearance from the oh, street. Yeah. Curb appeal, I think it's and a And something better. that is across all of the South Tipton builds with DND homes are these tankless water heaters. Never run out of hot water. Don't have to worry about it busting, leaking all over the place. So I love these tankless hot waters that DND provides. Well, they also, so DND does a lot of these Energy Star features that they include to make the house more efficient. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. Another one that you will see that's a smaller version, but they have extra venting in here to help circulation. For the circulation in the rooms, they do, you're right. So as we go through, you'll see that. Mm -hmm. But I like that little dining area there, that big window. Nice big breakfast area there for sure. Really private in the back here. You can see we just got a bunch of trees. Yeah, you've got green space behind you, so don't have to worry about a neighbor behind you. That's Mead Lake Road that runs behind you. And there's also two other lakes that that are public fishing lakes you could fish on right behind you here i see a lot of guys out there fishing we've got a gas fireplace with gas logs it's operable by this switch right here you flip the switch gas place oh, fires great. up flip it off it's great now check out this primary now jared yeah let's do that okay so here's that another example here so you see you got this venting as we go through so that's going to help with that circulation so you've got the trade ceiling in here jared you've got and the crown you even got the crown up on the second part which a lot of times that gets left out it does it's the higher mm -hmm. part of the tray nice led canned lights in here do you see the size of that yeah closet? the closet is huge and this is something i've noticed with dnd homes a lot of times you have these these closets or things <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's that big and then you walk in and you just have a lot more room. It just keeps going. Than you realize. And then all the built-in shelves in there also. I mean, you don't have to worry about a closet organizer or nothing else. It's already yeah. organized, ready to go. Already done. Now here's another place where DD always shines, is the bathroom. Nice bathroom. And then you got the, I'm, I'm, I don't want to call it granite or quartz. I'm not sure which of the two it is, but it's definitely solid surface with a beautiful color to it. Um, nice fixtures up top. I want to say, I think it probably is a quartz, but if, you know, typically if I'm just talking to you, mm -hmm. I'm just going to say it's green. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I'm not sure, but it's one of the two. What do you think about that shower, Jerry? It's is a, it, it's me, a big old shower. Let me try it out. Or you, want, but you, you know, you know, I'm always the one that does this, but Chris is actually about the same height as I am. <laughs> so, so he could do the big boy proof section too, but here I am. I'm 6'1". I'm not going to lie about it. I am probably 6'2 in these Air Maxes. Yeah. So you got plenty of height here. This is one of the things we've talked about before is, you know, I want to be like <laughs> that. Most of them now have gotten there, but yes, 100%, 100, 100 maybe 200% big boy approved. There That's a there. really nice tile shower with glass around all the way around it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if you saw, you got your linen closet here. Your throne room here is pretty nice too, Chris. A little nice, little space in there. Okay. Nice wide. I'm not sitting here. Okay. I was That's in right. one the other day, yeah. looking at a house with somebody, and it was, I was like, little this, this one would not be big boy approved when I was in this. But you're good here. And this tub, it's a little dusty. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't wanna get my black shirt all dusty, but it's pretty good size. I'll get in the next one so you can see right. how big of a tub they're putting in these houses. But really nice bedroom here. And uh, let's see. Let's come on back. And let's go upstairs because we got some more rooms here to show people. All right, let's do it. 
I like this little separation from the living room. Just that little bit of extra space there kind yeah. of gets them off of you. This makes it feel a little more private to itself. Hey, are you thinking about making a move to the Memphis area or around the Memphis area? If so, take a second to take down this number right here, the email there. You can call us, Texas, email us whatever it takes get in touch with us because we're gonna make that move as smooth as possible we are both licensed real estate agents chris up in tennessee i'm down on the mississippi side so we can cover you wherever you're looking to go and just wanted to throw that in here before we go upstairs all right we'll get back out of the house all right come on upstairs guys again you got wood real wood treads iron banisters smooth ceilings all the way up so you've got the primary downstairs, all the other bedrooms are up. I think they're actually calling this, even though it has a large closet, I think this one would be considered a bonus or it may be the other one. Um, no, the other one. So this one is a bedroom. This it's one is a bedroom. bedroom, okay. Good size bedroom, nice quality carpet in here. That's not a builder gray carpet. That's, a, that's an upgrade for sure. Walk-in closet for your upstairs bedroom with a window, plenty of space. We've been doing summer. I peeked in here. I think it's just a little bit of added storage. So, yeah, it's not as hot as you would expect. It's hot in here, but you know, you got the extra insulation. You got that tech shield up there to help keep um, like a radiant barrier. And then just look at all that blown insulation. They never skimp on that insulation in these houses. No, I mean, that's, that's a good bit here. Plus, some floor space here so you can store some stuff. So, that's nice. I was going to say about the closet there, we've been in some primary bedrooms that had a, <laughs> a closet about the same size or smaller. <laughs> so this is the second and a half bath, I would, I believe. Yeah, two and a half here. Yeah, because we had one and a half down. Right. Tile surround, nice stainless fixtures, quartz countertops again, and the tile floor. You've also got a linen closet behind that door there. Again. I like when we do get the matching countertops throughout the whole house. I do too, I, I think that adds to it for sure. Um, and then again, third bedroom here, walk-in closet with a little bit of shelving there. I didn't really cut you at all on any of these spare bedrooms. Smooth ceilings throughout this home, upstairs and down. I can't even remember what bedroom, was this our fourth bedroom here? So we had the one down, We've been in three, so we're on our fourth total bedroom, the third bedroom up. We hadn't been the one at the end of the hall. We haven't been to that one. I think we're calling that a bonus, but. So is it? So yeah, I guess, you know what, you're right. This is a four bedroom with a bonus. Up with there. a bonus, correct. Which it's could good. be another bedroom. Yeah, there again, check out the size of that closet. That's one thing about all the new builds with D&D. Plenty of closet space everywhere. Yeah. And you've already got all the stuff you need. Your, your, everything's actually already built in. You don't have wire racks here. Okay, so here's our little bonus space here. There's no closet in here, so it's definitely a bonus space, but still a good size room. Could be a little study room, a little library. An office. Well, another office, because you've got the designated you office space down there. So YouTube studio. YouTube studio. I like to throw that in there. I know we got some content creators <laughs> watching, right? For all you, everybody out there that wants to be a YouTuber <laughs> like Jared. You know, we're we're making it happen. You can make it happen too. Let's go check out the backyard on this one, Jerry. It's got a nice covered back patio and lots of privacy back there. So I'd definitely like to point that out. I need to talk with Kayla and see if these floors are, I wanna say they're some type of like an engineered hardwood. Um, it may be like a laminate, something it's, that's clean. It's but... a, if it's that luxury vinyl, it's uh, it might be, but it's one of the higher grade versions of it. Yeah, it's definitely a higher. You can tier. there's you know you'll see that that they'll say luxury vinyl plank, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you see that and you walk in and I think they left off the luxury part. It's more yeah. just it's a <laughs> vinyl plank here. Here they actually got it. Yeah, but all the soffits have um, vinyl siding on them. There's also soffit lights hanging out front. We forgot to mention that. So at night you'll have that nice glow down the front of the house. Can you guys hear the cicadas out there? Oh, yeah. They're still here. It's a, it's mid-August here in Atoka, and we still got cicadas. The summer tree the there. It's yeah. nice too that you got the sidewalk that connects over to your driveway. You do. So you got a covered walk space to get, or not a covered, but a concrete walk to get to the driveway. A little bit of a hill there, but lots of privacy with all the trees. Yeah. So the downside here compared to the one we're about to go to is if you do want that big backyard space, you don't really get it a whole lot here. You do get privacy which is nice. And you got a good covered area here, mm -hmm. but um, man, there's some things 
I think people are really going to like it that next house. So you, you ready to go check it out? Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go this way, Drew. Real quick, y'all, before we get into that second house, I wanted to show y'all some of the features here in the neighborhood, give you a little more info. This is that walking trail that Chris mentioned. So it goes all the way around this lake here. And uh, I guess if you live in the neighborhood, you can fish here. You can fish here. It's, it's reserved for just uh, people that are included in the HOA here at Lock so Mead. Fishing dock down there. Yep. So Lock Mead sits at the corner of Mead Lake and Atoka Audible. It's a very private little community here. There's not a cut through to get anywhere within town or anything like that. There is an HOA in here. It's not crazy strict, but it does keep the people on point, right? Like oh, when yeah. you drive through the neighborhood, you can tell like the yards are very well manicured everywhere. Oh yeah, you can tell that it's very well kept. I mean, just when you first come in, you got the nice entrance coming down with the, mm -hmm. the median there. So I mean, sure. obviously very well kept neighborhood and you're here in Atoka. So the schools here in the neighborhood, because a lot of y'all do ask us about schools, mm -hmm. you're going to be Atoka Elementary and I think Munford Middle and High. Yeah, uh, that's the way it's looking like. I would have thought it may have been Brighton Middle and High. I'm not sure, but it's definitely Atoka Elementary. Atoka does not have its own middle or high school now. They share that with either Brighton or Munford. Those, the middle and high schools are all rated like a B or B minus on Niche.com. I think we're A on Niche.com and B ratings. I'll put them up here on the screen for okay. you. but. So, well-rated schools for the public schools. There's a couple private school options in the area too. <laughs> Matter of fact, a lot of these kids in this neighborhood, they go to Tipton Rosemark Academy. So if you're headed into Memphis, Tipton Rosemark Academy is on your way there. So a lot of these kids go to that private school. But if you're, maybe you're coming here to work for Blue Oval and you'll be headed the opposite way, not towards Memphis, there's a Tipton Christian Academy out there. Mm -hmm. That's another little private school option. Speaking of Blue Oval, this is within 30, 35 minutes to the Blue Oval site. It almost doesn't feel like it coming up here because you feel like you're going north, but you do kind of go over a little bit yeah. as you get over here. So yeah, it's not a bad commute if you're coming here for Blue Oval. And you could be out here, nice rural, I mean, it's quiet. Yeah, it's yeah. a peaceful. You get to, Atoka's gave you that small town feel, but you just a hop, skip, and a jump to downtown or you're into Millington for restaurants and things like that. So a really good area. Yeah, there you go. That's what you got here all around Lockmead. So um, let's go check out that second house. All right, we made it here to house number two for the day, right here in Lockmead subdivision, arguably Atoka's premier subdivision. Hey, if you ask the people that live in here, they're gonna tell you it's the premier subdivision, but to be honest, there's several other subdivisions <laughs> in Atoka that are compatible. Hey Chris, that house over there looks familiar. We We've been there, haven't we? We've been in that other one. So that was <laughs> one of our first D&D homes that we toured right over there. It sold for a couple months ago, maybe even a year ago now. It's been point. a little bit. It's been a little while. I think it was back in the cold because the grass wasn't green or anything else. Uh -huh. so they've done a good job with that one. But this one's a little different. Got a little bit of an added bonus with that three car garage on this one, Jared. Check that out. Uh -huh. Some other, other bonus, and you might be able to see a little sneak peek of that bonus that you're going to get but you'll that see it in the backyard i think is what you're talking about but well check this out. Okay. actually before we get there we'll before see. you get there look at this right here right here jared you got that 101 yeah can you see that so this is home behind 101 first off you get you a good realtor like mr here, gowdy here right there you reach out to this number 295 <laughs> 2956 and then that good realtor has a good relationship with good builders in the area with dnd homes so we've got that going for you. But come on in, great curb appeal on this one. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Well, you know, I said the last one had a really good curb appeal and then we came yeah. back over here to this one. I'm like, man, this one really does look good too. So they do a good job at that. Nice modern colors on it. They've got two nice oak trees planted in the front yard for you. But come on in, let's check it out. There is a bonus on this one. There's a sneak peek there. We'll talk about it more so when we get inside. That's what I was talking about. You saw it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> got the black gutters all the way around. And I haven't opened the door yet on this one. Uh, cut. Cut. Oh, had this going, Chris. Let's get inside this one, guys, and check it out. Ah, nice AC in here. It feels good to go inside <laughs> right here. <laughs> not quite. They have not got the AC on. Uh, got, I, I, I got to tell Mr. Uh, Mr. D&D, &D, I need that raised up just about yeah. six inches. We're not, we're not tall man approved. Yeah, there, but that's okay. That's a great fixture there. Jared's backing into the open living area. This is the dining area space. Now, now this one being low is okay because it would be over your dining room. Table. Yes, your table would be here on this one, so no problem there. Something I have noticed about this one already, Jerry, is they got these blinds in here, man. All the blinds are in already. That is true. And it's, you know, extra reason to mention that. They're fabric blinds, but easy raise and lower. I say we got that incentive on this one. So you don't have to spend that incentive on that. You don't have to use that incentive on this. Look at the size of this, this living 
kitchen combo here. I mean, so, it's really open. So everything in this house feels huge, I feel like. And yeah. you know, you've got the vaulted ceiling here, which kind of amplifies that, but something, just wait just a second. I'm gonna show y'all something, but let's yeah. talk about this kitchen. Yeah, everything in this home, I believe is oversized. You saw the garage, you saw the lot. I love this kitchen. Now, I think this is a quartz, maybe a granite. I need to confirm which one it is, but I do like that it's got that matte finish too. Look at it, it's kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's I, not, it's not like that glossy. Like yeah, it's not a get. gloss. It's like a matte finish to it. And I like that, man. I mean, I just, it's different. You don't see it. You very rarely see it. And I, 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 I notice it every it, uh, time. I don't know that it costs anymore, but it definitely has a premium feel to it. It's so. definitely okay. different. Again, you got the Wi-Fi enabled five top gas burner with the griddle in the center. Let's see if these drawers, nice big drawers there for the pantry. Again, the vent hood vents out of the house. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about the uh, cooking smells. I know this big kitchen den area. Man, I love this cabinet color. I don't know about anything else. I like that cabinet color. So. Good contrast. And here you actually do have the double oven. We do. Started to say it the last time. You do have a double oven here and the microwave. And the microwave. So over here is. Um, so it's kind of a small pantry. Just Chris. a little bit of a small pantry. It's a little, a little well, small, but. It does have shelving in there, but, but check around that corner. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot bigger than it looks. Go stand over there. I'm pretty sure this is bigger than my first bedroom when I was growing <laughs> So beautiful pantry. I've I'm definitely my, seen people live in like New York apartments that are smaller. That are smaller than this. I think you could, uh, you know, store some food in there, do some nice canned yeah, vegetables. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, just, just a, a lot. Bit. Yeah, just a lot. That's right. All right, let's go this way, guys. I think our primary is that way. We're going to save that for last. Let's come out here and check out the entrance. You do have a nice guest bath there, half bath with nice tile floors. I like the color of this flooring, Jared. What do you think about yeah, it? Yeah, I think I like this better than the last one, personally. Y'all let us know if you need to go back and look at the different flooring colors, but I like this color. Now this one had um, has two bedrooms down. The other one, all the extra bedrooms were upstairs. So you got two bedrooms down, nice laundry there, nice drop station mirror coming in off the shower. So I think this I'm one- sorry, out of the garage. Is this one listed as a four or five bedroom? I think this one's listed as a four as well. But it, it you'll see, it could easily be a five. A so this is the second bedroom down. Again, DND never disappoints with the closet space. Again, that's a big walk-in closet. But I thought this was cool. It's got its own private bath in here. Tile yeah. shower surround. This is almost like a second primary suite. I mean, I guess it could be like a mother-in-law suite kind of. Yeah, like somebody's in here, but I mean, it's a nice room to be just with that private bath in it and everything. Let's peek out in this garage just to give us reference of the size of it. Ding dong. I think it's calling me names, man. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right, you got a two car garage here, separated so you can put that classic muscle car over here. Kind of classic muscle car we getting, Chris? <laughs> I like Chevelles myself. Chevelle? Yeah, I like late 60 Chevelles. You know what I want? Like a, uh, so when I was growing up, my dad had a 79 F100 truck. Nice. I would love to get one of those and yes. fix it up and drop like a, a big uh, Ford racing engine. You can do that, it. but now you put on those modern uh, 5.0 Coyote with a whistle. Could do that. Put the whipple on there. Yeah. yeah, I know that's what you want to do. Man, we'll start think, another YouTube channel about that. Stuff. I don't even think you could keep one of those on the road if you, if you put that <laughs> so, Probably not. Jared, you want to point out what we're talking about? The extra in this place It's right here above me here. So you see, we got security cameras in here. We got one there, and if you look as we keep going through, you'll see them. There's a camera there. There's one coming in that entry right over there. So definitely got plenty of cameras. Let's go this way and check out the, you wanna go upstairs or check the primary first? So you know what, I think it's crazy enough upstairs. Let's say that, let's go do okay. the primary first. As nice as the primary is, well, we, I guess we didn't show this coat closet. Oh, a good coat right closet there. there coming in the entry. But again, again, you got your little separation here to your primary suite. And this is a good size room. I mean, plenty of space in here. King size bed. A couple sitting chairs over here. I like those fans too. And you got the tray ceiling again with, and this one's a little deeper. It's not, it's, it's deeper than that last one we were in. And you had the crown molding up there on the second level here too. But I love the colors in this bathroom, Jerry. Chris, I think you can, I think you can uh, uh, give us the rating here. I think you can do this. I think I can work on this one. I think you're, I think you're, you're a big boy enough. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is big man approved right here. No problem. You got the two niches set in there. You got your water 
fixture there. I like that I don't have to bend over in order to take a shower, which uh -huh. is nice. And then I probably just hang out right there, kill some time. How about this tub? All right, I'll, I'll check the tub out. This tub is, it place? looks huge. You wanna see if that was big man approved there? I know it is. I like how the water and the, and the faucet's hanging coming out of the wall yeah. over there. So it's pretty just cool. a little extra touch there. But let's check this out. So again, if you need to know, um, I guess Chris says he's got me by one inch. He says he's 6'2", I'm 6'1". I don't know, we might have to check that one day, but but plenty of room in here. This one is easily three black crazy. So the tub and the shower are definitely big man approved. <laughs> Chris likes to say me. big man approved. Notice he doesn't like to say. What do you say, big boy approved? Big boy. <laughs> okay, all right. You're a big boy, Jerry, that's good. Well, you know, because it was the thing a while back, you know, the girls want to get him a big boy. That's right. That's what, that's what so, you, so you primed up for that very reason? Uh -huh. Good job. Um, nice walk-in closet. You got a built-in shelf over there. Um, you got the shelving on top. LED lighting here, so it's good and bright. Oh, yeah. that's all cool. All right, now let's, uh, anything else here? No, let's, well, let's check out. You got a linen closet there. And you got the... What do you call that, Jared? I don't like using that term you use. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> You're just making Chris like yeah. video. That's another big boy approved throne room for you right there. Room. Yeah. Somebody I, said that in the comments, and so whoever said that, thank you. Because <laughs> Jared has adopted it and bringing it to all our videos. Five panel interior doors, I like that. Check out this little niche. Now, back in the day, you'd put your, your, your phone up there with the rotary <laughs> dial. Uh -huh. Now I think you just put a couple pictures of whatever kids you got in there. Some people put pictures of their dog. And I don't know. You know, you could it, you could finish it out and have you like a little secret thing, put you a little, I don't know, like a safe idea. or just like a little stash yeah. spot behind yeah. your painting you pull open there. Yeah, maybe so. Well, we get a big move into Memphis logo and just put it right there. You in the go. right there. That's what people want in their house. That's all right. All right, let's go upstairs, guys. So plenty of space up here. So we've got two bedrooms down. Up here, you've got two plus this nice size get another full, full bath bath. with tiles around. Here's your third bedroom with another walk in closet. Turn the light on. And in that walk in closet, you got attic access in here too. So there is your furnace. Here's your water heater. I actually have a tank water heater here. Oh man, first I've seen in that. Okay. But you do have, this, what do you call this, tech shield? Yeah, tech yeah, shield. Yeah, you got the tech shield in there. So, like again. Like a radiant barrier to keep down on the exterior heat. It is not. Like we said, the AC is not on in the house here, y'all. I wish we'd have thought to turn it on, but <laughs> we didn't. It actually might feel cooler in that attic, which is probably a first. <laughs> so you've got your fourth bedroom here. Nice window. Step-in closet with a shelf. And then, here it is, you stuck around. We're sweating through this house. This is where you drop us a like. <laughs> we appreciate you doing that. You got that added bonus, and I think this can easily be considered a bonus. A bonus, another bedroom, I mean. This is perfect setup for a media room on this one. Yeah. And keep in mind, this is above the garage, so you don't have a lot of stomping on your head if you're downstairs. The kids are up here, want to be a playroom, media room, anything like that. See, that's why I say these rooms would make good YouTube studios, because you're up here above all the noise. I think so, too. You've got another wired camera there. You've got a huge closet on this one. We've also got smart thermostats in this one we hadn't talked um, about. Now this, I'm not going to open it, because I've already made this mistake, and it will fall out. But your receiver for all those cameras is in there, so that's where they all run to. Let's see, I don't think I peeked in this area right here. Let's see what this is. Oh, just a little floor st storage space here. Floor storage, and again, I think it feels cooler than it does inside there. It actually. is cooler in here. So this is above that third part of that car, of that uh, three car garage. Uh -huh. Great storage right there. All right, Chris, let's go check out the backyard. You ready? Are let's we done it. in here? Yeah, I'm good in here. Let's go. All right. All right, to the final part of this one right here, Lock Haven Cove, 101 Lock Haven Cove with D&D Homes. Plenty of backyard space on this one. This is a huge backyard. This is a huge backyard. You got two thirds of your fence is finished. You've you got a little bit one of side to go. You'll have to finish up. Or you could leave it open, mm -hmm. and maybe for some mild entertainment, you can just sit out here and watch your neighbor's lawnmower. 
wish it was out here running right now. It was. If you look, you can see like the crisscrosses in the grass. He's got one of those robot, like a Roomba. But it's a lawnmower. But it's a lawnmower. Yeah, I need that in my life, to be honest with you. <laughs> Maintenance free exterior. You got vinyl siding around the edges, brick all the way up to the soffits everywhere. High efficiency windows. This home is Energy Star certified. So lots of benefits going on right here, guys. All right, so there they are. Those are the two houses. All right, Chris, let's talk about some prices and let's tell them about that incentive. All right, Chris, so going back to the first house, it is, I guess, technically not 100% moving ready yet. It's not. So we don't have an incentive on that. We don't usually see incentives until they, you know, they've been sitting up here. When it's sitting on the market. Yeah. Um, so, but, but we do have a price on it. So what do we add on that one? And run back through the specs for me too. Real okay. Quick. Let's say that one's 95% finished. Okay. We're not offering an incentive at the moment, but to be determined on that. I right. will say, if you want to be in Lockmead, these are one of your few final choices to be in this subdivision. Yeah. I think with the exception of these two, maybe two or three others, it's about built out in here. So if you want to be in Lock Mead, you better make a move on one of these two with D&D Homes. Last chance. Call me. I'll get you a good <laughs> deal on them, I promise. All right, the first one we went into, four beds, two and a half baths, uh, just over 2,600 square foot. That one's priced at 548000 and some change, just a little over 548 Yeah, it's four, so, and it had that bonus room, too. So I mean, It did. Yeah. It's a little bit more than a regular just four bedroom. Totally. Didn't probably, probably easily, well, it didn't have a closet, so it was definitely a bonus yeah, yeah. on that one. Whereas this one actually has a closet. Right. Anyways, 548 and some change on the last one. Four beds, two and a half baths with the bonus. Now, this one, or you got something else to say on that one? No, that's all I got on that one. All right. So now this one coming up, obviously a little bigger. We got the three car garage. Mm -hmm. We got that extra... I mean, this one's a bonus room, but I mean, it could be a, another big bedroom if that's what you wanted to use it for. Yeah, very versatile in that room. First of all, it's huge. It's got a big closet on it too, as well, and it's above the garage there. So big bonus on that one. This one is four beds, three and a half baths, or five beds, three and a half baths, just 10, depending on how you want yep. to look at it. Kicker on this one, $20,000 incentive. d and is offering that to you guys to come in. You can use it to finish off this fence buy your rate down, pay closing costs, whatever you want. Use that $20,000 incentive on this one. That's a pretty powerful incentive, considering you've already got a lot of this already done. I mean, it's a lot of it's already done, and $20,000 is a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, I know the house is expensive too, but a $20,000 incentive, incentive is impressive. Basically, all you need is your down payment. That's right. right. That's all you need. All this right. one's priced at $571,633. So some little odd prices there. Five seventy one six and some change on this one. And like I said, one of your few remaining opportunities to be in Lock Mead. So there you go. Let us know down there which one was your favorite. Which one do you think would work best for you? And if you want to keep seeing all the new builds, all the new construction neighborhoods around the entire Memphis area, it's all going to be right here on this playlist. So y'all check it out. We'll see you there.